Yo, what's up guys, the Goblin, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the best specialist in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. But before I get into the subject, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, and make sure to drop a like on this video. I'm going to be pumping out a ton of Black Ops 3 videos, and let's get right into this one, talking about the best specialist. So, in my opinion, there are two specialists in this game that are very, very powerful, and that are probably the best two specialists. The other ones really don't compare to them, and you guys might have a favorite one, you know, it depends all on your playstyle, so drop down in the comment section below your favorite specialist but we all know in the beta basically reject was the most powerful specialist because you got to keep your streak you got to keep your kill streak and your metal streak but basically now they have nerfed that they have changed that so reject all it does is keep you from getting one death on the scoreboard your score streak bar resets to zero and your metal streak also resets so it's not good for going for nuclears it's not good for going for high score streaks it just is good to get a pretty good kd and that's the only reason why you'd want to run Reject anymore is if you were just going for KD. So, there are two that I think really are above everything in this game, and I'm going to be talking about them. It's between these two for the best. So, the one is the one I'm using in this game, which is the Scythe. So, basically what the Scythe is, is it's unlocked at, like, level 40-something, I believe. And it is a robot arm that you get, and it comes out, and it's basically a machine gun that just destroys people. Now, this gun is very powerful, but the thing that makes this gun very good for try-hard players or for going for, hard, like, trying to do well in the game is for the simple fact that every kill you get with the scythe builds up towards your kill streaks and actually gives you 125 points per kill in domination so this means you're actually getting 25 extra points while using this specialist streak so it's actually helping you get to your skill, skill score streaks while other things like the talent here you can see it only gets you 25 points per kill when you're getting kills with the scythe you're actually building up quicker than building up a gun kill if that makes any sense and that's what makes it so powerful as well as it is way better than any gun you're not going to lose a gunfight if you have the scythe and they have a pharaoh or they have an icr you're absolutely going to melt people and you can sit back and just destroy people you can usually get three or four kills with it which equals out to be like 500 or 600 points towards your score streaks which is absolutely insane now this the other best specialist is the combat focus which is part, part of the seraph which is unlocked level 22 and why the combat focus Focus is very good, it, almost as good as a scythe, or even just as good as a scythe. It's for the simple fact that if you're playing kill confirmed or dom, what the combat focus basically does is you pop it, and for a few seconds, you get double points off of anything that you do, off of any capture, off of any kill, any assist. You're basically getting double points, or sometimes it's even three times points. I don't really know how it works exactly, but I find that if you're playing kill confirmed, you use the combat focus 100% of the time, and you get a few kills, so there's two or three tags sitting down in front of you. You pop this combat focus and simply run through the two or three tags, and you get a freaking amazing amount of extra points. You probably get 300 extra points just from doing that which is absolutely insane and really helps you build up to your score streaks. So that's why I think the Scythe and the Combat Focus are very good. There are some honorable mentions for the best specialist. I guess you could say Vision Pulse. Vision Pulse is like a quick little VSAT and Oracles for you. Um, it lasts for a little bit, but it's not that good. As you can see, the Scythe just absolutely melts people. There's also the Annihilator, which is part of the CRAF, which is like a pistol that can go for You can go for some fun clips and stuff like that. There's the Flamethrower. There's a bunch of very fun specialists, but if you're trying to go super try-hard mode, I'd say the Scythe or the Combat Focus are going to be the two that you're going to want to focus on and that's basically those two are going to be able to get you the best streaks and get the most amount of kills the least amount of deaths those are the try hard ones so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hopefully this video does help you choose your specialist and help you pick the best specialist once again at level one i'd probably just go with the vision pulse but you have to unlock these as you level up level 22 and level 42 i think it is for the scythe and uh, that's basically it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. It might not be 42. It might be 38 or something like that. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to drop a like on it. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. And uh, that's about it, guys. I'm out. Peace.